today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Thank you for joining us today, Monday. We're getting close to Christmas and all the celebrations, and it's so often that we can get tempted beyond what we're really supposed to be thinking about. So let's look at James chapter 1 today. James chapter 1, verse 13. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. And often we get so busy with decorations and food and entertaining, we think we're doing it to please God, and that that temptation to do all these things, and not that those things are wrong, but sometimes we have misguided ideas. And then it says, let no man be tempted. But every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and deceived. If you find you're anxious over this Christmas season, over all the preparations, gift buying, whatever it might be, you are being tempted away of your own lust and enticed. It's because of what you're thinking about. So we always have to remember to ask ourselves, where is my focus? Then, when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. And that death it's talking about, and I'm referring to this season, it can be anxious, overworked, tired, where you're no longer enjoying what God has brought forward for us. It says, Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning. At this season, we are celebrating the good gift of Jesus. We avoid temptation when we are in communion with God. He has brought the good gift. This season, keep your focus not on all that has to be done, but always remember to be in communion with your Heavenly Father and focus and realize the good gift is Jesus. Thank you for joining us today.